and print fam. Happy Wednesday. I lied to you guys last night. No, I'm sorry. I'm ashamed. I didn't print the envelopes first. There was another job that was four by six postcards that I printed. So now I have to wait for the printer to cool down so that we can swap the fuser out. This is the first time I will be, I will be printing A7 envelopes, which are seven and a quarter by five and a quarter. So hopefully it works. If not, I will unfortunately print them on my little laser desktop printer, but hopefully it works so that we don't have any issues there. I will keep you posted and bring you along for the ride. I did not film the printing that we already did and cutting of the color cup because it had addresses. So I didn't film that. We do need to print some more yard signs. So I'm gonna get those printed. I'm waiting for clarification from Bob on one thing that I can maybe print it at the same time. Um, but it is a little bit bigger, so I'll probably save it anyway. Um, I just I hate wasting space. But, oh. He, he just responded on Monday. Let's see what he has to say. And of course the AC. It's just supposed to be cut letters. So, yeah, it's too big. So I'll save it for another batch. So let's get those signs done while we wait for the machine to cool down. And then we might start on the the hoodies that I need to do. I've got the transfers right there in that box. Um, they are gang sheet transfers, so I gotta cut them up so they're the right size. I did it that way because they had adult, youth, infant, and toddler sizes. And so it would have been a pain to screen print all those individually. They wouldn't have got bulk rate and so I will go over what I charged them, as well as what it cost me, and all that fun stuff to get it done in time. Pretty decent profit for what the job is. So we'll go over that later today, assuming that I do those. If not, we'll save it for the day that I actually do them, but we'll see. Print fam, Bob's here. He's leaving. He hates me. Very much so. He's gonna do a delivery and then he'll be back. I made the signs, but I refuse to grommet the signs. I'm printing envelopes. We also have a time lapse going. So I'll catch you up on everything else in a little bit. He's upset at me. I am. Why am I upset? Because I, I we got that rush job. Poor communication. And poor design work That's by true. other people. But it wasn't us. Okay, see you in a bit.
Bob came, Bob left. Bob came again, Bob left again. He um, finished up some, well, he finished up the signs that I had cut earlier today, and he picked up the wedding announcements that we did. So the wedding announcements we did were five by seven, and we printed the wedding announcement. The wedding announcements, the envelopes, there was an insert that went in some of them. Then we did bridal shower um, invitations and the invitations, or the envelopes for those invitations. Um, so yesterday I printed the insert, the announcement, and the invitation. And then today we did the envelopes. So he's gonna get those all stuffed. We are mailing them, so we're using our postal permit to send them off, so it'll save us some money, but there's just gonna be no work for them. Um, kind of what we decided was um, because we have to pay yearly for the postal permit, um, unless they're doing a ton of mailing, we're just gonna charge them the retail rates of postage so that we can help recoup that cost for having the permit. Um, we may end up doing something different in the future. There may be a different fee or different types of fees, but we don't do a ton of mailing. The customer that we initially bought it for doesn't doesn't do it anymore. So that's why we bought Paperweight, which is the bomb, not the bomb, the Hasler, whatever. You can see, I'll, I'll link to my list of tools down in the description. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking about selling that and the Bomb Ultra Fold. Just need to list them and get them gone. So, um, other than that, I did some artwork for a baby shower. I'm doing some stickers, some like baby prediction cards that they can fill out, as well as some stickers to go on some buckets. I'm just waiting for final approval and go ahead on that. So hopefully that will come today. And we did those signs earlier. Right now, I'm, oh, I did mock up a screen printed order. But for the most part, I'm just avoiding turning off. I burped, sorry. Turning on the heat press and doing those hoodies that I need to do. So I need to stop avoiding it and just do it. Just do it! But we'll see. It is seven o'clock. The family went swimming because I had to wait for Bob and get a couple of things printed. So they probably won't be home for another 30 minutes or an hour. We'll see what I decide. You'll find out when I come back. We're not doing the shirts. I went to get a package off the porch. My neighbor was outside. He had some questions. We ended up talking. Then the family got home. Then we had to do dinner. So now I'm back out here, but only for a couple of minutes. Then I gotta go to bed because I stayed up way too late last night. That one's for you, create it. Um, so, we're gonna save the shirts. I did get my table set up so that I could put the shirts on it. We are doing Plastisol heat transfers. So we will go over the shirts, where I bought them, where I got the transfers, how much I paid for the transfers, how much I charged for the shirts, and all that fun stuff tomorrow. We do, I do wanna get them done tomorrow because they wanted them by Saturday. 
but I'd like to get them to them Friday because I'm gonna go swimming with the family. So I don't wanna have to deal with doing that and trying to spend time with the family. So this is where we're gonna call it a night print bam. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions about what I do, why I do it, how I do it, etc., leave those down in the comments. Thank you, Cam, for editing the videos. Really appreciate you. If you guys want to support the channel, you can do so with Patreon, Amazon Affiliate, and all those other fun links down in the description. I will say that I do my best to respond to all comments and all emails, but I try to be more timely in my response to those on Patreon. So if you do want some more of my devoted time, then Patreon is a great way to get that. Um, I've been having a great conversation and um, working through some questions that someone has about getting a printer, and they're looking at getting the 335 instead of the 315 like I have. So it's a little bit wider and has a few more features. If you want to see a full feature <laughs> wow a full feature comparison I will leave a link to a article that I wrote on my website but anyway like I was saying patreon is a great place to get some more of my one-on-one -on -one time so thank you for watching thank you for being here thank you for liking and subscribing and all that fun stuff you already know what we're gonna do tomorrow so, until next time, perfam, see ya! Huge shout out to our patrons over at patreon.com forward slash TTMS.